Hello, this is Char from The Real Kitchen for Real People, and I trust that everyone is feeling and doing well. Today, we're going to make a wonderful, scrumptious chocolate cake. And this is one of my mom's favorite cakes that she used to make for us on Sunday. So, we're going to attempt to make this delicious scrumptious chocolate cake. First you're going to add three cups of all-purpose flour in a bowl and make sure that you measure your cups correctly. No more than a cup, no less than a cup. Now we're going to add three teaspoons of baking soda to this flour. Now we're going to add one and one teaspoon of baking powder. Now, one teaspoon of salt. Now, a cup of Hershey's cocoa unsweetened. And now that you have these in the bowl, combine those by stirring until you don't see any more flour. So, just stir until it's all brown. And it looked like that. Now set this aside and we're going to get ready to cream our sugar. Okay, before we start our sugar process, turn your oven, preheat your oven at 350 and crack four eggs in a bowl and set them aside. Okay, we're going to add two cups of sugar. One cup of brown sugar. One table, excuse me, two teaspoons of vanilla extract or beans. I'm putting two teaspoons of vanilla bean. And if you don't have vanilla bean, use just vanilla extract or flavoring. Start mixing that together, those sugars and the vanilla beans. And then what you're going to do is add three-fourths cup of oil while this is blending. Okay, add your eggs, one egg at a time. Add one cup of hot coffee. A half a tablespoon of espresso. That gives it that rich chocolate taste.
okay I'm gonna add my buttermilk slowly turn this back on so it won't splatter everywhere and all these ingredients will be listed below uh, under the Amazon affiliated links below so you'll be able to um, purchase those these ingredients if you choose to on Amazon now I'm going to get through adding the buttermilk and now I'm going to add my flour mixture to this butter uh, sugar mixture I didn't mean to say butter, I meant to say sugar mixture. Okay, so we're going to add the flour a little bit at a time so it won't fly all over the kitchen. Just a little bit at a time. And this batter is going to be a little thinner than normal cake batter. Anyway. And it'll be a three layer nine inch cake. So I'm going to add that. Just until it's combining, completely combined. You don't have to overdo it. See how it's coming together? So you're going to add all your flour mix slowly. Okay, now that it's all mixed up, you want to prepare your uh, pans. Okay, once you've prepared your pans, you grease them flour and you put the parchment paper at the bottom so to make sure that they come out even with no problems. And before you pour it in your pan, give your batter one last stir make sure that you got everything at the bottom combined and on the sides and it'll look like that consistency right there beautiful okay we're gonna pour them in three nine inch pans And you just try to get them as even as you can. Okay, I've got them all filled. And I'm going to put them in a 350 degree oven for 35 to 40 minutes, depending on your oven. Just check them within 30 minutes, though. Okay, my cakes are done. And beautiful. Come out the pan beautifully. And now we're going to prepare our frosting. We're going to set these aside and let them cool. Because it's got to be completely cool before you add your frosting. For at least four hours to cool this. Now what I have in this bowl is um, a cup of, of the unsweetened cocoa. And I've sifted it so it won't be lumpy. And I, now I'm going to take two cups of the um, powdered sugar and I'm going to sift it into to this bowl along with the cocoa and I do that just so it won't be so lumpy and you can double this recipe if you want to if you like a whole bunch of icing on your cake you can double it or triple it or whatever but uh, I usually do 
one cup of cocoa and two cups two three two to three cups of the powdered sugar so i'm going to sift that right now and then i'll be back with it okay i put three cups so if if i have some left that's okay we'll eat it so i'm gonna sift this three cups of powdered sugar into that sifted one cup of cocoa and now i'm going to pour it in a different bowl so i can mix it good okay now i got it in the bowl and then just kind of mix it around until you don't see any more white you want it totally brown and carefully do this because it'll the powder will fly everywhere if you don't so carefully stir that together until it's all brown okay and I'm gonna add the whipping cream to this uh, mixture I don't want to put it in there too much and it get real loose so I'm gonna start with a half a cup of yeah, half a cup of the whipping, heavy whipping cream, just to start it out. This is really a rich cake, so if you're looking for a diet cake, this is not it, believe me. So, you have to eat in moderation. Eat little slices. If you just gotta have it but I love chocolate cake and this is probably one of the best recipes see I don't want it to be too loose as you can see it's not enough milk so I'm gonna add another half cup Okay, and stir that in. And you want to stir it until it's smooth. It needs to be smooth, not real thin though, because you want to you want to have it where it can spread nicely on your cake. See how that's coming together? Okay, I'm gonna change spoons to my wooden one. Okay, I'm going to add just a little more. It's a little stiff. So I'm going to add probably a fourth cup now. So that's so far two and one fourth cup of the heavy whipping cream. And you can use your hand mixer if you want, but it seems like you have a little bit more control when you're not of that cocoa and stuff flying everywhere when you do it by hand. Okay, now I'm going to add a half a stick of butter, soft butter. stir that in until it's completely combined okay now you can see how that looks that's perfect that's just how I want it a little stiff so it can spread good on the cake okay and now we going it's been a, a while since my cakes were out Make, check them and make sure that they're completely cool before I add this because I don't want it to melt on the cake so stand by and we will uh, icing the cake 
okay to balance that sweetness out I'm gonna put a just a pinch of salt and then stir it again and then we're ready for frosting okay let's spoon the about a good two tablespoons on your cake after you put one of your cakes in the, in your plate or whatever you're gonna have it served on okay that's your icing and then you're just gonna spread it you don't put a lot on there just so your other layers will have somewhere to stick to I mean if you want to put a lot on there you can but I don't put a lot on the middle okay and you just do it like that and then you'll add another layer on top of it okay I've added another layer and you do the same thing okay just a thin layer in the middle is all I like now if you like a whole bunch of ice and you can like I said double the recipe and you can make it real heavy in, in the middle if you want but I don't like a lot of icing on my middle okay now I'm ready for the next layer okay and we're gonna do the same thing here add your icing in on the top and spread it this will be great cake for the holidays that's coming up it will definitely be a crowd pleaser and like I said before all the ingredients that I use will be uh, linked down below along with the recipe so for your convenience if you need to just purchase all your items on Amazon and I will uh, provide that affiliate link below now that I have that all icing at the top I'm going to icing the sides so what I'll do is just take a little of my icing out of the bowl and go around the sides with it like that and you do that until you do all the way around which will take a little, a little while so don't panic and you just go all the way around your cake okay and finish the sides of it as you can see and now I want to kind of I'm not a cake decorator that's for sure but I'll just kind of whip those the icing at the top if you have leftovers just put it on the top where you can kind of make twirls on it okay and that's your chocolate cake the best chocolate cake it is scrumptious and it's worth the work so if you like this recipe please be sure to comment below if you have any questions uh, be sure to ask me below as well in the comment area and if you enjoy watching me please give me thumbs up that helps the channel out a lot and I appreciate you much for doing that so and I know that I have some out there that's wanting to subscribe and haven't done so yet so please subscribe if you haven't already and if you have I do appreciate you isn't that gorgeous?
that is scrumptious and then of course on the bottom of your cake pan you just take a napkin or some kind of paper towel you know and kind of just kind of twirl around that to clean that off the sides okay so that is your chocolate cake let me give you a close-up that is it so I'm not gonna cut this until it sets a while so I'll come back with how it looks when you slice it but isn't that beautiful and I know it's gonna be scrumptious and this is the scrumptious chocolate cake okay see you later love love